behalf of the Eastern Football Netball League, welcome to Torbor Reserve Baronia for today's Eastland Division One Reserves Grand Final. We begin today by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we gather and pay our respects to their elders past and present. We extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people here today. Congratulations and best of luck to both competing sides in today's decider. Officiating umpires for today's match are Field, Bradley Pulley, Brendan McKenna and Georgia Scott. Boundary, John Bamford and Jack Cleary. Goal, Jason Gillow and Daryl Larter. I would now ask that you all be upstanding with the players and umpires for the Australian National Anthem. Reserves grand final between Juan Turner South and Mitchum. My name is Jared Bainland and joining me alongside me today is Ryan Long, the media manager. How are you doing, man? Yes, thank you, Jared. Uh, very excited for this contest, a grand final rematch from last year between yep. the two sides. And you, I think you were calling that game and the roles are reversed this time. So last year it was Mitchum coming in as the heavy favourites and Juan Turner South as the underdog who ended up prevailing. And now this year, Juan Turner South are the benchmark of this division and they're taking on the Tigers who get another crack at them. Absolutely. It was uh, very interesting uh, last year, given that Mitchum were, I think, just about undefeated in the reserves until they came to the grand final. Yeah, had a uh, phenomenal year, they did. And Juan Turner South just pit them at the post, uh, which was a very impressive uh, showing by them last year in the grand final. Very, uh, very exciting game. Uh, it was close all the way through and ended up to be a, uh, a, last, quarter, a last quarter scrap which uh, was very exciting for me and Trent to call. Yeah, 100%. It was a uh, very close game last year, and I think we'll get somewhat of a similar contest. The wind has picked up and sort of comes and goes a bit, so we, we're not sure, not quite sure just how much of an impact that will play, but just got to take the most of your opportunities when you do get them. I think it will be a bit of a sort of a low-scoring game, maybe to a, a 10 or 11 goals might win it. Yep. As the umpire holds the ball up for the start of the Division One's Reserves Grand Final between Montana South and Mitchum. Joe Benlin take us underway. Lachlan Steele goes up in the ruck for Mitchum, taps it down ball in dispute little handball shove it out there by by Mitchum kick was smothered it's an early early scrap there going in hard was uh, Casey Michael Casey for one turn south but he's given away the free kick so Mitchum to go forward here mark taken by Mason Carrozza and he lowered the eyes there nearly a good mark taken for Mitchum in the forward line, but Montana South descends upon Daniel Brock and we'll have a ball up just there at the arc. So off we go again. Good little tuck down there for Montana South, trying to scoop it up. There was Solos, and Mitchum will go forward. Little handball out there to Carrozza. Another inside 50 for him. It's come now to Crampton, he gets tackled. 
and it's holding the ball. So good defensive work there by Juan Turner South early. So they'll take this out of their back half. Just a minute into this game, Mitchum doing the attacking early, clearing it out of defence. Big pack of players will fly at this one. Punch from behind. Mitchum might pick it up cleanly. Got a few players here who have played certainly a bit of senior footy this year. Bit of a scrap and ball as the uh, handball couldn't quite hit Carney on the chest and he's out of bounds. So we'll get a boundary throw in a minute and a half into this contest. They're just feeling each other out so far, I would say. Yeah, certainly right. Certainly see how we go on the far side when the ball goes over there. We haven't quite got the best view from here. No, that's true. Mitchum with the clearance going forward there. That was Jarvis. And is that almost a mark? Not quite wrapped up. And we'll get a ball up inside 50 for the Tigers. Are we looking to get a quick start? Not having defeated one turn of South this year. They've defeated them on all three attempts, the Devils. The handball there from Harper. Get another stoppage here. Yeah, it's two been minutes in, into this game. It's been an interesting uh, rivalry between these two throughout the year. Yeah, it certainly has. So we get a ball up, tap forward there from the Tigers, from Steele, into a bit of space, and run onto this one. Handballed it off to Kimber. The kick inside 50 is going to be cut off now. Girl off, couldn't quite pick it up. Tigers with some numbers around this one. Well, not getting loose just yet in the middle of the ground. Bit of a scrap out here at Tormore Reserve. We're going to get another ball up. It's not the cleanest display of footy so far, but it makes sense. It's a high pressure situation. Uh, yes, 100%. The crowd here should be uh, building quite nicely. We had a good crowd in for the under 19s. Mm -hmm. Mitchum here for the seniors as well. So, so from that clearance, hunting it was Figamali. He was tackled. Figamali. I think has uh, given away the free kick there. Must have been holding the ball. Good win there for Mitchum. So, ooh, that's an ugly looking kick. And Montana South should cut it off pretty easily. It was Gleason. Shoved the handball out, but it was intercepted here by Mitchum. Kick goes forward from Val. And Mitchum will come up to meet it. Snap around the body there towards the top of the goal square. The flyers go up. And Montana South just clinging on a little bit. It's come out here to. Dennis, Deans, that's the, uh, yeah, I think this has uh, been a, uh, <laughs> well, I it's go confounded with Deans. us, yeah, Deans, yeah. You go with Deans, I don't know. <laughs> it's confounded us throughout the uh, the times we've seen Watson and South, both in seniors and reserves, but it's a free kick here pulled out for Mitchum, and so they'll get the first proper shot at goal. He's just going to casually snap around the body. Put it through. Yeah, well, if he's uh, as confident as that, fair enough. And a good goal on the board for Mitchum. Keeping an eye on who that is. I think it will turn around and show us a number, but Mitchum go up. One goal, six to Montana South. No score so far. Good start from the Tigers there. They've been the doing all the attacking. I believe that was Nathan Crampton. Crampton, potentially. Oh. So a good start. First goal on the board in the Division One Grand Final in the reserves. Mitchum one straight six, one turn of south yet to score. Coming up to five minutes into this contest. Wind has certainly just picked up in the last couple of minutes. It's going to be favouring Mitchum's end by the feel of things. Yeah, we'll certainly see if they can put that on the scoreboard early and use the most of it. I look to get the clearance this time again inside 50. Looking for Crampton there who just kicked the last goal. Very difficult to see on that far side when it goes over there and it famous at Tormore. Yeah, you're not for wrong. That far wing to be used. Yep. You're gonna get a ball up here. Little boundary throw in. Back in Deans. Got the tap down. Keep was smothered. Bit of a scrap here. Get another ball up. Umpire's pulled something out of this one. Going the way I mentioned by the looks of it. No, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's no. having it back, so we'll get, we will get a ball up. So, Deans. Clearance there from the Tigers. Wrapping up his opponent there. We'll get another stoppage just outside the forward 50 for the Tigers. Done all the attacking early on. Yeah, so, Deans will go up once again here in the right for the Devils. Just beat out uh, with Solace that time for Mitchum. So Montana South will go forward. It's the first time they've uh, sent it beyond the centre line. 
guard that was out in the full. So Mitchum will repel. Bring it back in. Kimber takes the mark. He's going to go way back to go forward. And this could be inviting a bit of danger here for the Tigers, but they had space. And the kick comes out. Mark taken by Pratt. Back of the centre square. Kicked it down the line. Deans was there, but couldn't affect the contest, which was surprising. So Mitchum will go forward once again. They're in space here. Scooped up. Kick just towards the centre of the forward line. Tried to set it up, but one turn to South were all over that. And the tackling pressure in the defensive line there by Lachlan Grieg. Done well enough to hold them up. But Mitchum doing all the attacking early. What can they do from this clearance? Well, looks like it's going to be one turn to South onto it. No, it's come out to Mitchum. Good tackle. And the pressure's really on in that forward line there. I've seen a couple of these players play this year in a couple of our broadcast games. Yeah, for both sides. Yeah, for both sides. Figamali is the one that stands out for me for one turn to South. Played pretty well against Montrose in that game uh, we did at Walker Reserve. It's an absolute scrap in the pocket there. No clean possession, able to be getting, able to be gotten even. And so the ball will find its way over the boundary line and it'll be another toss in in Mitchum's forward line. Oh, I think it's actually a Mitchum free kick here, Jared. Oh, it is. It is. You're not wrong. So this will be a pretty difficult shot here for Joshua Fulton. Tough angle. See how he goes with this one. I've already got one on the board. This will be for number two. If he can kick it, he's not going to get there. It's just a minor score. Mitchum go to 1-1-7. One, one, one turn to south yet to score. 12 and a half minutes ago in this first quarter. So we're just waiting for the ball to come back. It's going to be James Sturtridge to bring it in for one turn to south. Goes for a bit of a jog, has the space to do so. It's a high kick towards centre half back for one turn to south. Easily cut off though there by Lachlan Steele. Good intercept. So Mitchum will push forward once again. Do they go to the direct route to the top of the goal square? They do. And a mark taken. That was strong hands, but also courageous because there was quite a pack forming behind him. And the mark's been taken, say about 25 out. Maybe a little bit more directly in front. And I think this is Jared Moore by the looks of it. Or even Daniel Brock. So Brock comes in on the right boat. It's straight, it's there. Mitchum get the second on the board here. So a quicker start than I expected for the Tigers. More tennis south have got some work to do to make up some ground. Yes, yeah, certainly right to strong hands there from Brock and a good finish at goal. And they start to take the most of their opportunities up forward in these early stages of the grand final. First two on the board for the Tigers. They come easy as the underdogs this year. Were they ever in front last year in the grand final? Was it pretty much one turn south holding a, a lead? I think it was one turn south for the most part. I think they uh, got the jump early. There might have been stages in the early part of the game where Mitchum had the lead. So two clubs with a lot of depth at the moment. Punch forward there by Naismith for the Tigers. Chance now for the Devils to do a bit of attacking. Looking to go forward. Picked up well. Passed it backwards. Under a bit of pressure. Got the handball off in time. Picking it up there. This girl off. Like it's coming kick. back actually, so the Devils will go inside, 50 looking for a mark, out the back, punched in front from the Tigers, We've got front position, this will fall out to Rebecca, wrapped up, good pressure on the Devils here, we'll get that ball up inside, 50 for one turn of south, they trail by 13 points, halfway through this first quarter of the grand final. Fantastic crowd building here at Tormore Reserve, the so ball up inside, 50. Dangerous territory here for the Tigers. They look to try and clear it out. That was well smothered by Beams. They're looking to lock this in. Picked up here from the Tigers by Rebecca. Got the handball forward. They look to for the boundary line and a bit of safety. Picking up here. The Devils got the handball out. A chance now. Inside 50 again. Who can fly for this one out the back? Tigers got some numbers with the one Devil in the middle. Was able to find the mark. I believe that's Strutridge. That was very impressive. 
It was actually Jack Graffa. I think it's Graffin uh, from what I saw on, on game day. And it's a Jack Graffin's a familiar name for me for Montana South. So Graffin will line up and put the Devils first on the board. He likes it. There we it. go. Montana South, one straight six. Mitchum two, one thirteen. Eight and a half minutes to go in this first quarter. You can kick it back and Jack Graffin. He's, uh, he kicked... I think six versus North Ringwood earlier and in the air. Apologies the to Jack, I did the team sheets last <laughs> night at, with little sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, too much going on at the moment. It's a, it's a little bit like that at this time of year. But strong hands, I mean, was. there was about four Tigers around him. So that would take down the mark, so impressive start for the game. Indeed. So off they go again. And it looks like a high free kick's been drawn out, so Wontona South will be able to go forward again here. And that kick, it was smothered, I think. So he's, the Wontana South have got a bit of work to do here. It was Jamie Hunt having to lay the tackle. It's come out now. High ball inside the Devils forward line and strong hands. Great mark taken there by Nick Beams. Yeah, much better. Last couple of minutes here for the Devils. Yep. Like Clu uh, Clubman Gaddis as well has had a, a strong start to the game. He has, he has. Uh, I've, I've noticed him a little bit. He's getting to work. And uh, Montana South, they seem to have the options up forward. They're able to take some strong hands. So maybe they can do more damage with fewer inside 50s today. So Beams comes in. And that's a goal. That is a goal to Nick Beams. Montana South, just a one point back now. Yeah, it's been a great response in the last couple of minutes. And they can score quite quickly. And we've seen that throughout the season. Back to a point, 2-1 to 2 straight. Feels a, a little easier for one turn south to score, where I think Mitchum had to really work for it up forward. Yep. Yeah, Some exactly. tall targets down there in their forward half that can certainly have an impact on this game. So Mitchum probably needs to get on top of the clearances uh, if they're able to yeah. just curtail last, that. Last two centre clearances to the Devils. We'll see what can happen here to the Tigers. First to the ball. Gonna get another stoppage here unless they can get this out back where we started. You've just missed the Beacon Sealed Croydon under 19's grand finals. The Eagles getting up over the Blues by I think 25 points. So congratulations to the Eagles. Their first premiership in the Eastern Football Nepal League is the handball out here for the Devils. Picked up cleanly. And they go inside 50 once more, looking for a target. Got one. Load up so it's a hot spot. Mark almost taken. It was picked up well on the crumb. Almost was tackled there, McIntyre. But the ball came out and a shot on goal. Slams into the work. So a minor score, 2 1 apiece. With five coming up to five and a half minutes left to play in this opening turn. Mitchell to bring it back in. Spiraling ball out of out of defence. What can Montana South do here to stop them advancing? Pratt, the scrappy kick forward, but it's really just a, a pile on at this point. So Montana South did well to cover that exit. Which we're we'll trying to find. Two on thirteen apiece at this point. Early stages, of course. Taking towards five minutes left in this first quarter to go forward once again. What can Gerloff do here? He's got to contend with a teammate, but they both have to, sorry, an opponent, but they both have to contend with the boundary line, which wins out. Of course, we've got the South Belgrave versus Mitchum grand final in the seniors coming up later. Tune into Aston 98.1. About to say ACN. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was last year, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, Aston 98.1 FM. Facebook and YouTube streams for the FNL for that. It's going to be a absolutely be, should be another good one. It's going to be a cracker. I remember the the match that we covered for the, between these two teams mm. earlier on in the year. That was a bit one-sided in terms of in terms of the actual result, but still a very entertaining clash. I think Mitchum do well at even making their losses entertaining. So free kick picked out here for Mitchum from this clearance. Low ball inside forward 50. No mark taken, but it was a strong lead. One turn to South. They're going to have to fight here to get out of defence. 
Mitchum just sending it forward once again. It was a bobbling ball, crashing through his go off, couldn't take it. He was tackled, and the umpire's caught holding the ball. So Mitchum will get another shot at goal. And it's going to be Zach Hazel and oh, Sam Howell. No, no, you had it right, sorry. <laughs> Zach Hazel in to take the free kick. A good opportunity here for Mitchum to settle once again as Montana South were pressing. But it all comes down to the boot of Hazel then as to whether or not that's going to be the case. Kicks on its way. It looks like it's going to be through. It looks straight to me. And the goal umpire agrees. Mitchum celebrate and go a goal up over the Devils. That was fantastic kick of the footy. Pressure's been good from both sides early on in this contest as we certainly expected. Did we get tips in the end at the start of the game? Oh, no, I, I didn't get mine. It feels I think we jumped right. straight into it. <laughs> yeah. I did think the, uh, the Devils today. But I, I really think this will be a close one, only a couple of goals. And, and Mitchum have certainly started very well, 3-1 to 2-1. It's hard um, to go against the Devils when they've won all three, three clashes. Yeah, yeah, three times. Back in the middle again. Wrapped up and we'll get another ball up. Coming up to quarter time, two and a half minutes to go in this first term. Division one, reserves grand final from Tormore Reserve. Tap down. The direction of Mitchum. Picked up well by Harper. Got a bit of space but to try and find a team. That was cut off there by Carroza. He'll send the Tigers back into attack. Devil's got front position here. Gerloff, tuck that on his chest. He did well Scott there Gerloff. with the sun in his eyes. Yeah, it's started to peek through at the moment. Finds a player out. Chaz looks to go inbound and it's all Tigers here. So they'll be able to turn this over and create a bit of attack. The 19th Cup comes past us. <laughs> Short kick finds a teammate. First bit of silverware to go down to home park. Yes. So pretty historic here. Yeah. So the kick there was, was smothered by Stone and out of bounds. So the Devils now have a big chance to be able to put a late one on the board before quarter time, just outside their forward 50. Boundary throwing. Ruckman will go up, went past both of them, out the back. Here's a chance now, almost getting away there, Harper. Got the ham all out. Tigers with some numbers. Wrapped up. Minute 15 to go. It's Mitchum 3-1, one turn us out 2-1. Back into the hands of the umpire. Tap down there comes from Gleeson. It's going to be another scrap for it. Umpire's going to have to claim this one again. So it hasn't really opened up just yet. There have been moments of play where the transition's been better, but it's such, such high pressure. So it's come out here towards the boundary line. Van Grodel will try to centre the ball in, but it was cut off. And it looks like it ricocheted over the boundary line. Get another throw in. Just 35 seconds left in this quarter. What can Montana South do here? Ames tried to tap it behind him. Mitchum, fresh airy there from the Tigers. It's now come out here to Hunt. Slipped over, regained his feet. Sent the shot at goal. It was a bit of a blaze away there, though, by Jamie Hunt. And just the one behind. I don't think it was really ever going to score a major. And so Mitchum to kick it back in. So Six seconds left, the siren will go. Unless they turn this over right now. They're going to go into quarter time in front. The Tigers, 3-1-19. One turn south, 2-2-14 two, two, in the Division One Reserves Grand Final out here at Tormore Reserve. We'll take a little break and when we're back, we'll go through the goal kickers and get started in the second quarter of the Grand Final. Thank you. 
for Victoria, who has supported Leeds and clubs, are committed to keeping our game bright, and we are strong in our stance that any form of abuse across football at all levels is not tolerated. Any form of abuse is not welcome on our turf. We are encouraging all spectators not to confuse their anger with passion. We're all here for the same reason, for the love of Australia's favourite game. We want supporters, parents and players to make a promise to be their best versions of themselves and to support the hard-working volunteers, coaches and art players who make our great game come to life every week on local grounds across our great state. Real fans respect the game. Make a pledge to keep the passion alive. But remember, any form of abuse is not welcome on our turf. Reserve for the Division One Reserves Grand Final between Montana South and Mitcham. And at quarter time, it is the Tigers leading 3 1 19 to 2 2 14. Major goal kick is in that quarter. All singles Jack Graffin and Nick Beams, one each for the Devils. And then for the Tigers, Crampton, Hazeldine, and Brock, all with one each. Jared, your thoughts on that first term? I thought Mitcham started red 
bit hot. Devils responded, and I think we've got a good game on our hands. We do. There's a lot of pressure involved in this game. Obviously, I think the stoppage count was uh, going to be pretty high. I think that's always going to be the case in a grand final. Uh, neither team leaving it up to any sort of chance, uh, not taking the risks, not letting uh, their opponents get too much space. But it looks like when Montana South do go forward, they're just that tad more dangerous. They have those marking options, but it's just ha been happening less for them as it has for has for Mitchum. And uh, Mitchum, well, to their credit, they've also taken their, uh, you know, some of their opportunities as uh, as far as shots on goal have been concerned. But I do like the look of uh, Beam, Scraffen. Uh, I think that's going to worry them today. The, yeah. the tall timber up forward and around the ground, I, I think that could hurt them. A lot of blokes there who have played some good senior footy too, not just make the side, but have an impact in the senior squad. So that will be one for Mitchum to certainly keep an eye on. Yep. But in saying that, I mean, someone like a Dominic Howe has played six senior games for the Tigers this year and has been um, influ influential himself. Yep. Definitely has the experience to uh, to make an impact. So we're back in the middle. Umpire holds the ball up for the second quarter of the Division One reserves at Grand Final. So Dan's going up here against Lachlan Steele in the ruck. And a secondary tap out there from Hazeldean. Pushing it forward. Mitchum could smother there for Wonturner South. That was good work by Beaches. And so Wonturner South off the back of that will go forward through Deans. So a high kick towards the forward line and strong hands take the mark at centre half forward. So Wonny South. And this is going to be Graffin again. Kicked one goal already. 20 for the year in the reserves. So I think he's played some senior games as uh, Jack Graffin. Definitely has the quality for it. Can he make sure of this one? It's a good spearing ball towards the top of the goal square. Just touched on the line by Mitchum. And a goal-saving effort from the Tigers' defence. So, one turn to South will go to 2-3-15. Mitchum, 3-1-19. We're just ticking outside of the first minute of this second quarter. Tigers will take this out from full back. Come towards us on the broadcast side or switch it to the other side. They will go to the other side and find a target there in Sam Howe. I can hear your disappointment. I know. <laughs> I hate it when the ball goes over there. We've got a good crowd in front of us at the moment. Makes it even more difficult as uh, <laughs> Sam Howe will send it long down the line. If they can get a target, hit a target. Fulton out the back, got a fist to it. Went straight down to a teammate who kicked it down the line. One turn to South, got some numbers. That's a really good mark in front. Strong hands. Come back with a fly to the ball there. Great mark. Strutridge. And another one here on the wing. They look to attack now the Devils. Inside 50. Can they get another mark? This is going to really test him. A long kick forward towards the top of the square. Got a couple of plates. It's a two on two. Punch forward. Who's at the bottom? Picked up nicely. Gets past one. A handball over the top. Finds a target there in Van Grandelli. And finishes it off. Devils get their third, 3-3-21, three, three, Mitchum 3-1-19. We've played two minutes into this second quarter. The opportunity sticks off there for Wani South. They met, I think Casey made it a little bit harder for them by passing it into the pocket. Yeah, but Jared Van Grondel was good enough to make sure of it. So once again, Montana South just being that bit more efficient when going forward. So we're back into the centre here. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be... Figamale's taken to the centre. I've got an eye on him because he played well against Montrose for the seniors earlier in the year. The clearance is going to go to the outer side. Mitchum retained possession. One-on-one -on -one situation there. Good little push out there by Crampton. But the ball sails over his head and over the line. So we'll get a throw in here on the outer side. Two point margin, the Devils way in this reserve, Division One Reserves Grand Final. We're live from Tormel Reserve. As yes, we'll get another stoppage, it was a real scrap pack situation. So Deans will go up once again against Steele. Good tap and Mitchum to take it away, but only briefly as Colosimo takes the mark. And he's going to try and find the corridor here. 
No mark taken, roving it at ground level, making sure it comes out into space. Now back onto it, one turn to south. Mitchum, however, get the handball away. No clean possession here. He goes again, does. That was Finch. One turn to south. Uh, uh, oh, that's holding the ball. That was good effort by the Devils. So Jamie Hunt will take the free kick. A couple of kicks from goal here. So he's going to send it. They've got marking options. We know that. But good back. spoil out the back. It has fallen out the back for one turn to south. And the snapper goal came from Jack Graffin once again. And one turn to south. They're looking to extend that lead. Well, they're certainly looking quite dangerous at the moment. Hot start to this second quarter. Two quick ones. Now created a little bit of a buffer, but they'll certainly look to pile on a few more goals while they've got the momentum. Thanks for joining us on YouTube this afternoon. Senior game to follow South Belgrave and Mitchum. Radio Eastern 98.1 FM, Facebook and YouTube. Free game starts at 1.15 while we're here calling this one. Five minutes into the second quarter. And it is one turn south by eight points. They've kicked the last two goals. Back in the middle. They'll look to try and get a clearance again. Carney handled it backwards. Kick forward here from Bayer. Was smothered. Now for the chance of the Tigers. Inside 50. Picked up nicely. Passed it off to a runner. Shot on goal. One on one contest in the goal square. Almost picked up there by Kurloff. Boy, Greg. Snap around the body. It's there for the Tigers. Russell Valley. Finishes off nicely, and Mitchum get their fourth, 4-1, 25. So that was opportunistic there by Mitchum. I'm, in, I'm impressed with the efficient, efficiency that they've had when the ball hits ground level in their uh, forward line. Yeah, they certainly have that. I, I, I was a bit worried there just for a second that the Devils might be able to sort of just storm away from them with the momentum as they have done in, in multiple occasions. We want a close grand final, Joe. We do. We're desperate for it. We've had two really good reserves grand finals already. Less yep. than a kick in it. Maybe we'll get something similar today. Hopefully. So up they go again. It was a good work there by Clark in the ruck. And Montana South will storm through the centre here. That was Van Grondel kicking inside forward 50. And snapping around the body. Montana South, they're going to get another one there. They do. And the celebrations are on. Give you who that is in a moment. And it's McIntyre. That's his 42nd goal for the season, Sam McIntyre. And he's one of the ones up forward for one turn of south that we haven't mentioned yet. And it just goes to show how many weapons they have up forward. Yeah, 100%. That was a beautiful finish. And the incident reply. So 5 3 to 4 1. A bit more of a high scoring start than maybe we thought considering what happened last year. Very low scoring game. Conditions a little bit different. Yep. It's back in the middle now. What can the Tigers do? Can they respond straight away? They might be able to get this out through Steele. It's wrapped up though, so we'll get a secondary ball up. Great first half so far. Ball comes out here for the Devils. Already got three for the quarter. And they're going to get another chance here because that's holding the ball. Carney will take this. Wants to play on right away. Umpire's going to send him back. So give a chance to the Tigers to set up behind the footy. Dallin Carney, short kick. Play all by himself. Casey is coming back again. <laughs> take three. They've done most of the attack in this second quarter. Kicks a good one. The target there. He points towards the goals. Long kick down to the hot spot. No mark taken. Ball hits the deck. He's going to be able to pick this one cleanly. The handball. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> Comes out. Wrapped up in a tackle there. Just got his handballs out. We can pick this one out from the far side. Towards the boundary line. Tigers under a bit of pressure here. Hold strong. It's cut off. Umpire's called something. So a tripping free kick here to Mitchum. I'm lucky for the Devils because they were out there. Yeah, they looked looked dangerous. Bit of a sigh of relief for the Tigers. See what they can do with this footy. They'll go down the line. 
front position there, the Devils. Tapped away. Mitchum got some numbers out the back. It's out of bounds, so we get a boundary thrown as the rain starts to come, which is great. Yeah, I didn't expect Standing that. Standing outside at the moment. 11 minutes to go in this second quarter. It's 5 3 to 4 1. Devils leading. So from this clearance, Mitchum hunting it. I think the boundary line's going to win that one, though. 3 to 25, eight point lead for one turn to south as the rain does start to come and that could dry, dry up the scoring a little bit. <laughs> Got to protect our, our team sheets from getting too wet. So and the ball comes again. Tap down and hunting for the clearance there, Mitchum, but Casey feeds it out. How far did that go for the Devils? Not particularly far at all. Mitchum fighting for it again. It's been seen over the line, I think, by Lucas. As typically, it's on the other side from, from us, which, yeah, and that's always going to be the case, I think, here at Tormor. So, one turn to south, we'll get the clearance. Well, he just lost handle on it. And Casey shovels it out. Van Grodel tackled immediately as he received the handball, and both teams will fall upon this one. We're back into the center of the ground, and another ball up. Halfway through the second quarter. Division one, reserves grand final, one tennis south and Mitchum. Tom will reserve and it's a good mark taken there. Good intercept for Wani South as Mitchum look to get a good clearance. So Greg kicks it out. Mark taken. One turn to south to try and build something here. Push home the advantage that they found themselves with in the second quarter, but they've given away a free kick, or, no, uh, it was a mark taken by one turn to south, so kicks it towards the forward line, coming out to meet it was McIntyre, wrapped up illegally, so one turn to south will get that free kick, they've got several players on, streaming forward, but Mitchum have blocked oh. the hole as well, oh, good, courageous mark taken for Mitchum. As the big bodies were coming over the top, he copped a knock, but kept hold of the ball well enough. And so Mitchum to exit defence. No mark taken there by Plant. So he ends up getting tackled. That was Fulton doing that. And we'll get a ball up. Yeah, Nick Beams came with a bit of pace as well to certainly contest it. He did. Danes, double tap down. Casey, he's going to try and find the corridor here for one turn of south. He did that, no mark taken, but he has time and space here. Does Harper, kicks it inside forward 50, no mark taken there by Beams. Sorry, McIntyre. And Mitchum will be able to repel. And it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. But the boundary line beats them both. Nothing that Harper could do there for the Devils. Boundary throw in with eight minutes to go in this second quarter. It's one turn to south, 5-3 three to Mitchum, 4-1. Three goals to one in this quarter for the Devils. Down to the Baronia Road and Harper here. Couldn't quite pick it up. Coming in late there, the Devils. A bit of free kick for the Tigers, I believe that was in the back. Got players out in the middle. Here's one, Jarvis. Jarvis has sent the Tigers into attack now. Can they get a mark up forward out the back? Punch from behind. Went down to a teammate who snaps it onto the right boot towards goal. It's not going to get there. It's going to bounce and stay in. Bounce over the line for a minor score. 4 2, 26 the Tigers. One turn to south, 5 3, 33. Seven and a half minutes ago in this second turn of the grand final. It feels like Mitchum just clinging on a little bit. It's definitely not too alarming just yet, however. So Mitchum will go forward again. They have the numbers and the mark taken at centre half forward there. And it was Hazeldean who's kicked a goal already. Kicks it towards the top of the goal square. No, it just goes straight through. Hazeldean gets a second. And Mitchum once again cut back that lead. He's been lively. It's, obviously, as you said, it's his second goal. Well, Shepard over the line there. It was. So they've been able to really hang in here. I think probably one turn us out to have more control in this second quarter, but still back to one point. 
Mm -hmm. so we were talking about efficiency up forward. It seems that Mitchum is really finding that now. Well, if they can go in at half time with a score line like this, where it's nothing in it, they'll be pretty happy and it'll give themselves a, quite a chance in that second half. So back in the middle. So he wins out here. Deans tried to get that tap out. Went down. Tigers with some numbers. Scrolls up. Turned over. Now a chance for the Devils. Inside 50 from Gerloff. Bouncing ball. Tigers might be able to cut this off through Howe. Sam Howe. Long down the line. That will be out of bounds on the fall over the fence. <laughs> so the Devils will take this and have a chance themselves to progress forward. Looking for back-to-back -back premierships. Ben Gerloff. Inside 50 here. Got to play out the back from quiet market there. Could Gleason. Tigers have won themselves a free kick. Jumping centre half back. Chopping out the arms there. So they go down the line. Could be cut off. Bouncing ball. Boundary lines their friend. Probably a good result for Mitchum. Trailing by a point. Eight stages of the second quarter. Five minutes 20 to go. Hazelden with the two goals so far for Mitchum. Jack Graffin with the two for the Devils so far. Those are the major goal kickers. And what's the result of this contest? Another throw in by the looks of it. So if you go, Mitchum buried his way in there to a pack of players. Got wrapped up, there was no escape. Ball up. As we see, Danes will go up. Couldn't do much with it. So it's come out here for, I think it was Jarvis again. He was wrapped up. I'd say Jarvis is uh, one of the more important in the Mitchum Reserves team. He's been lively. Good stands on the ball quite a bit. But not present at the moment. Oh, no, there he is. Gets tackled. Ball spills free. Montana South now pick up and run with it. That was great by Stone. Zach Stone goes forward. Contest there favours Mitchum in terms of numbers. But ball hits ground level. Montana South will pounce. Mitchum just with the intercept possession there. But he had to stand under it and cop the tackles as they came. So Wontona South just hold it up there. Just outside of their forward line. Punch down. Who's going to get this clearance? Oh, by the looks of it. So I'd be impressed here if uh, Mitchum were to slingshot and score another one. I've been fairly close throughout the year, these two teams, when they have met. <laughs> But Turner South did win by their biggest margin against Mitchum in the final just a couple of weeks ago. So maybe some bit of a mental dent there for Mitchum potentially as the ball's just gone over the boundary line once more. Danes will be in the right going up against Steele once, once again. The throne was a little bit wayward, didn't get called back, so Mitchum will take the advantage. A bit of a bouncing ball, though, stopped up by Montana South. They work their way free. Campbell now a kick. Just come to the outer side here. This is Gerloff. Ben Gerloff, low ball out in front here of Colosimo. Mitchum, however, doing well to stop this up and the boundary line will win out there's a player in all sorts of trouble for Mitchum he's he's looking like he's in some real pain I'll uh, get a uh, number in a second yeah the game's going to be stopped here as uh, this young lad's been helped off the ground looks like it might have been an eye poke or something along those lines you hate to see that oh yeah there's blood come off the blood really yeah it's pretty much of an issue in terms of the eye at least. That was Flynn Rebecca coming off. So Deans will get the tap down. Wrapped up immediately was Clinton Guidus. And another ball up. 
minute 36 left in this second quarter. So right in front of us, broadcast side, tapped down by Deans. It'll be a high free kick here, going the way of the Devils. Women go this. Take this one. But it's a good first half so far. A girl off short. Decides to go long inside 50. Ripping out the back. There's a chance there. The Tigers have got some numbers. Handball forward. Jarvis went backwards. Big little clean up there. That'd be a free kick going in the direction of Mitchum. Right from their coaching's box. With less than a minute to play. They trail by a point. They get a late one. Down the line. The wind holds it up a little bit. Punch there from down from Deans. Was picked up well by Jarvis. Inside 50 now. Running onto this. They've got players out. Lucas. Socket forward. Chance of the Tigers. Got two to beat here. Did well. Snap around the body there. Bouncing ball. Trying to score. That was from Naismith. So we are all tied with 30 seconds ago in this second quarter. It's 5-3, 33 apiece. Harry Naismith there would have kicked his 19th goal of the year. Remains on 18, and 10 of those came in one game. Against kicked 10. He kicked 10 against Moorabark earlier in the year. They struggled, didn't they? Moorabark. Yeah, they did. Yeah, definitely. I think they ended up bottom of the ladder. In the I had a few, a few, uh, few games struggling for numbers. Yeah, definitely. So just the one second left. There's the siren to end the first half here. And, well, scores are level. 5-3-33 apiece here. Montana South versus Mitchum in this reserves grand final. Ryan, did you want to go through the uh, goal scorers? Yes, for the Montana South, Jack Graffin has two goals. Nick Beams, one. Van Grindel, one. McIntyre, one. As to the Tigers, Hazel Dean has two. And then all single goal kickers are Crampton, Brock, and Joshua Valley. It is halftime here. 5 3 33 apiece. We'll be back after a bit of a break for the second half of the Division One Reserves Grand Final.
So we can get this over. Uh, oh, it's going to be covered in the bike, isn't it? Thank you. 
Welcome back to Tornwell Reserve for the Division 1 Reserves Grand Final between Monterna South and Mitcham. At half time here it is 5-3-33 apiece. Mm -hmm. The big second half to come, Jared. Yep, uh, so three goals to two uh, second quarter there in favour of uh, Monterna South. So they've done well enough to uh, even things up. A couple of goals to Graffin throughout the game for the Devils and then two goals to Zach Hazeldean for Mitcham. It's an intriguing matchup here. This is a repeat of last year's grand final. One turn to South versus Mitchum there as well. Mitchum came in heavy, heavy favourites. I don't think they lost a game in the reserves last year, but ended up fumbling it at the last day in one turn to South. Massive. Well, can we get the reverse today? Can we? They come in as the underdogs and they're a big chance. And I just hate that we've got two really tall blokes right in front of us. Yeah, down. I know. <laughs> That's going to make it difficult. Yep. As old Kyle Notley comes past. Maybe we can grab like a... a step. In fact, I think we got some like a, a step ladder. Or, well, not a step ladder, oh, we, like a like something for me to stand on last, uh, last year. We might have to get that in that last quarter. Trent was at least tall enough to not need that when I was calling with him. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So we're all set to go for this second half. We're none the wiser who's going to win out in this contest. Devil's been the best side this year. Mitchum have been very, very good too. Looking for redemption. Devils looking to go back to back. Fantastic contest ahead of us today. Looking for a little bit more, I think, from Sal Fugamali. He, uh, in, given the fact that he cracked into the senior side for a few games this year, more than a few, I think. Well, he, he can have a, a massive impact in his second half if he gets on top. Mm. Certainly make it more difficult for the, the Tigers. And down forward, they just they look very dangerous when they do get it into their big targets as the umpire holds the ball up for the third quarter here in the Division 1 Reserves Grand Final. So it looks like Dens isn't taking the rock here for Wanya South. That uh, honour goes to James Clark to start us off for the second half. And Casey, his amble was intercepted. That was by Tsolos and he was wrapped up. So we'll get that secondary ball up. They go again. Steele got the tap down that time. And it is an absolute scrap. There's not going to be a clearance this time. Oh, ball comes up into space a little bit, just for a second. And Mitchum apply the, the clamps. 
once more. Another ball up. Try my best to peer over these fairly fairly tall <laughs> gentlemen in front of us. They couldn't have picked a better spot. <laughs> Looks like we'll get another ball up once more. So real, real like heavy pressure to start this third quarter. Tapped down by Clark. Only went as far as Solos. His kick was high up and under, and we'll get a throw in from that as the contest just shifts slowly across the ground towards the outer side. Let's see if this clearance can break things open here. Well, yeah, it'll it be will. Back. Oh, no, yeah. I thought that was a free kick for a second, and no, it'll just be another throw. Probably in. shows the wind as well. That carried it quite a bit it did, to yeah. the, Baronia, the Baronia Road end of the ground. Sorry, Jad. That's all right. And, uh, yeah, that's the way that, uh, uh, that Mitchum is kicking this quarter. Coming out to Meta there. The man in the long sleeves, but one turn to south will repel. Jarvis will lay the tackle. And the south will go no further. And looks like it's taken a bit of effort for one of these players to get back up, but he's all right. So Steele gets the tap down. And Montana South trying to fight for it, but Mitchum get the handball away. Only as far as Casey. He was dispossessed, bumped off the ball as well. So Mitchum will send it forward. Great intercept mark, though, taking good reflexes. Turner South will try and find a way forward here. This was Lachlan Gregg. Kicks it to a contest and a mark taken. And Mitchum intercept once again. The man on the inside here is Chris Solos. And he's looking for options. Not too much movement down the ground for him. So he's going to kick it to a man out in space. Mitchum just picking their way through. One turn to South's defence slowly here, keeping control of the ball. Settling some nerves, perhaps. And that kick, good diving mark taken down the line. So they end up closer to goal here. And if the mark's taken here, they have a shot, but hits the deck. And a tackle laid. Mitchum took possession of the ball. And now it's going to go back to the umpire. So chance the Tigers get their first of the third quarter. Inside 50 at the moment, ball up. Tap out one by the Devils. Punch forward here from the Tigers though. Towards the pocket, might just roll out of bounds and it does. So we get a boundary throw in. Three and a half minutes gone in this third quarter. Score's still tied. 5-3 apiece. That win's picked up again. So Mitchum gotta use it while they have it. Certainly probably got to go into three-quarter time in front if they're going to win this grand final. Kick forward, running onto this, Carrozza. Picked up by the Devils, though. Well pressured, though. It was cut off. They link up all right here. Girl off in the middle of the ground. Passes it off. Stone. Forward he goes. Just overdid the kick. Coming in there, the Tigers lay the tackle. Got to win this contest. Devils looked out. We'll get a ball up. And about 60 out from home for one turn to south. Limongatis almost had control of it, but ball wasn't delivered to him as well as it needed to be. Tap down, getting past there, Casey inside 50. Can they kick a goal here? Ball hits the deck. Tigers got to do very well here. The free kick's been paid to the Devils. And they're going to line up here for their six of the afternoon. We Nick Beams. Already has one. This to get the Devils off to a quick start in the third quarter. Beams lines up, and that's a beautiful kick if it holds it line, and it does. They've got six, six, three, 39, five, three, 33. They lead by a goal five minutes into this third quarter. So a good opportunity taken there for one turner south against the wind as well. So important to make sure that Mitchum don't take advantage of that. So good kick by Nick Bams for a second. 12th of the year in the reserves at least. And looks like James Clark will take the ruck again. 
So no Danes for this quarter at the moment for one turn to south. And this might allow Mitchum to get on top of the clearances. Figamali doesn't want that to happen. And it's come out to Hunt. He gets the handball away. And the kick forward for one turn to south. It's going to find a spoil there. That was good by Hal for Mitchum. And they're sharing it, sharing it around there. Tsolos, chain of handballs, comes to Jarvis. Low chipping ball. Glee, uh, that was Hal. And a good mark taken down the line by Alex Finch. Good intercept for Mitchum. Now another chain of handballs. Right come here to Solas and he, yeah, it was a bit of a hospital job. And one turn south wrapped up Solas. He's got to get, get the ball back to his opponent there. And it was Riley Beaton. High ball towards centre half forward. No mark taken for one turn to south. The potent forward line, but Mitchum getting numbers back into their defence. They're flooding back well. Fulton just had to wait for the ball, but got it. Handball. Gee, the target dropped it. Figamali's in there now, but Mitchum's going to try and storm away with it. However, it's coming back. It is coming back. Didn't take the advantage. So, looks like oh, yeah, no, sorry, it's a ball up. It yeah. is ball up. So Mitchum think there it was their free kick too. I actually thought it was. Yeah, that's why it's come back though. And the uh, the crowd getting into it a little bit as well. Jamie Jamie Hunt wrapped up his opponent there. Another ball up. Crowd building nicely right in front of us as well. Punch there by Bames. That's very in kick. the ruck and that has to be a free kick. Yeah. So going the way of one turn to south, and it's going to be Beaches. Carl Beaches loads up on that right boot. They've got the targets up forward. Punch though comes from Mitchum. It's going to fall into the pocket. Ball in dispute. Mitchum struggling, just trying to push the ball forward as much as they can, gain as much territory as they can. And the boundary line will win out once more. There's the throw in. Good punch by Beams. And it's into a dangerous spot. Running onto it. One turn to south. He was tackled as he kicked to Van Grondel. And that affected it. It was nearly a great opportunistic goal there for the Devils. But Mitchum will kick it in. So in control at the moment. 6 4 to 5 3. Seven point lead. It was all square at half time as the ball goes out of the back half. And there he is again. Van Grindel. Send them back into attack again if they get a mark here. Running onto this almost bounce off the chest. Mitch and picking this up cleanly. Frampton got the handball out. They're under a bit of pressure here. It's cut off again by the Devils. Good pressure and good tackle there. Robert Chaz and we'll get a ball up inside 50 for one turn of south. Coming up to nine minutes gone in this third quarter, leading by seven points. Looking for back-to-back -back premierships in the reserves competition. Ball up, punch forward there by Beams. Almost suits his uh, teammate perfectly. He picks it up nicely. Van Grindel, bouncing ball will go out of bounds. So, a bit of boundary throw in. Good chance here for the Devils on top at the moment. Coming up to the halfway mark of this third quarter, leading by seven points. Mark Deans is back on the ground. So back into play here, Beams over the top. Out to the back, almost picked up by McIntyre. Tyke's pressure is okay. They were able to clear this out, it's not going to go too far. Cut off here by Carney. Dalen Carney takes the mark, about 50 metres out from home. Send it towards the hot spot. A lot of players will fly it. This one, McIntyre just slipped through his hands. Dangerous couple of minutes here for the Tigers. Got to find a way to exit their back half. Picked up by McIntyre. Was cut off. And now the Tigers, maybe a chance. A mark here. Out at centre half back for Naismith. Naismith looked to switch it. And it's going to be cut off on the, by the Devils. Daniel Byer standing underneath it to take the mark. Doing all the attacking at the moment. Inside 50 once again. And they get a mark standing under this. The Tigers couldn't quite take it there. Good solace. Out the back. Devils shot on goal. Is out of bounds on the full. They just survive for the moment, but they're not out of this. A few skill errors coming. 
in this uh, mid midway point oh. of the third quarter. He's been run down there. And so free kick will go the way of the Devils. And it's going to be Callum Gleeson. Yet another of Montana South's weapons up forward. He's kicked 12 of the 12 on the year. As Cal Gleeson. In he comes. He's going to be kicking from a fair way out here. And it's just going to go to the top of the goal square. Oh, oh great mark taken. Strong hands there. And it's Sam McIntyre. Oh, no, it's not. No, oh, I saw the two. Jack Raffin. Jack Raffin. That makes sense. So this will extend Wontona South's lead and make things quite hard for Mitchum. They haven't scored this quarter of the Tigers. Wontona South will have two on the board. If this kick goes through from Jack Raffin, it does. And they're starting to build a bit of a buffer here. The Devils. That's one goal in each of the three quarters here for Graffin so far. And he's been an important cog in the machine of Juan Turner South. So the score line reads 7 4 46 the Devils. Mitchum 5 3 33. 12 minutes gone in this third quarter. They call it the Premiership quarter, Jared. And at the moment, it's been all the Devils here. Been able to stretch out a bit of a lead. And it's a really important five minutes here for Mitchum. They can't let a couple more goals slip. Got to get one back themselves. They look, look at the clearance forward. It's going to be cut off here. Hamill into space. Running onto this first to get there, Jarvis. Wrapped up. We'll get a ball up back in the middle. 13 point one turn of south lead. Thanks for joining us on the YouTube stream today for the Reserves Grand Finals. Seniors Grand Final here in Division 1 to follow. Casey got the handball and then got it back. And now they go out towards the far side. Picked up nicely, but Chaz. Kick under pressure. Finds a target. Strong hands. And they're going to have another set shot on goal. This time it's Gleason. So Cal Gleason will look for on Turner South's eighth and they give him a uh, match high 19 point lead. He can put this through. Kicking just inside the arc or just outside. And take a good kick from here. Nicely struck off the boots, gonna fall short if there's a mark. Punched away from the Tigers, under a bit of pressure here, gotta kill this footy. Tap towards the boundary line. Picked up, passed forward. Could come back the other way. Gerloff picked it up nicely. Handballed it off to Deans. Couldn't quite control it. We get a stoppage here on the far side. 14 minutes gone in this third quarter. 13 point lead to one turn south. Such an important stage of the game here for Mitchum. They're either going to hold on or let it slip. Another goal for one turn south could start putting a bit of doubt in the minds of Mitchum and trying to do that here. The Devils send it forward again. It was a low drilling ball, but Mitchum have the numbers at ground level. Gleason's going to run onto it. However, into the pocket, he's got one to bait, goes to ground. Ball spills free. Mitchum just trying to retain possession. It's a desperate kick outside of defense there. The target was Hazeldean. Couldn't do much with it. Shoved out of the contest, Hazeldean. And one turn of south applying the pressure once again. They're going in hard here, the Tigers as well. Kick by Beaches. Didn't go very far. Crampton did well. And we'll take it over the boundary line. I think, oh no, free kick on the way of Mitchum. And that will release the pressure. But they, oh, oh they've stuffed that up it's well. Worked out okay. Luckily enough, Jarvis was out the back of that because it went over the target's head. Jarvis kick goes forward. It's gone to center half forward there. One turn of south, that was really good work by Plant, but it's coming back. Mitchum just spilt the ball for a sec there oh. and kicking it inside <laughs> the corridor. That was an interesting piece of play there by Stingle. Actually managed to find a target and that man lowers his eyes and Tom Lucas is taking the mark. Is he close enough to score? He, do he doesn't seem confident no, doesn't, in it. He does want to kick it from 
So he's going to try and find a player in space. He's done just that and a good mark taken. That was well done. That was very good vision and a little bit of loose checking there by the Devils and the mark's been taken by Mason Carrozza. This is such an important kick here for the Tigers. They have to keep touch. Otherwise, this grand final will start to slip away from them like it did last year. Mason Carrozza, bit of an angle to navigate. Marches over the 50 metre arc. Kicks on its way. It's got to bend back a little bit more than that. It didn't. He started it right, it stayed right. And just the one behind to Mitch in their first score of the quarter, which does not bode well. 5 4 34 to Montana South, 7 4 46. 16 minutes gone. Probably look at Brody Jarvis's couple of real uh, good efforts there to get it forward for the Tigers. Didn't result in a goal, but. He's had a uh, strong game so far. Kick inside 50. Mark not taken. Down at ground level. Devils clean this up and they'll look to escape. There's the ball in towards Dean's. Got the handball off and they've got some run here. Hunt inside 50 coming out the back. Meets his opponent. Tigers have got some numbers here to clear out to Fulton. Dropped the mark. The chest mark. Kept it in front of him though, so he did okay. The kick down the line, out of bounds on the full, so it's a turnover. And Turner South will take this right in front of us. It'll be Ben Girl off to take this kick. 17 minutes gone in this third quarter. Two goal lead for the Devils. Girl off. Back inside 50. There'll be a big fly, almost taken there. And the Tigers will get a free kick here because just off the ball. That was against Beams, but it's just play on advantage at the moment as they go inside 50. Jars can run onto this. He's got an opponent running at him. Boundary line will beat both of them. Plant couldn't quite get there for the Devils. 17 and a half minutes gone in this third quarter. Tiger pocket. Probably need a goal before three quarter time. That's only two goals in it, but I just have that feeling the Devils might be able to stretch out that margin quite quickly. Mm. So they've got to stick with him here. Mitchum, punch forward by Deans with a scrap. Gotta get another stoppage inside 50. There's worrying times for Mitchum. They have to take this opportunity here. With just a few minutes left in this third quarter. So, there's the throw up. Deans taps it down into the pocket. Mitchum take possession, but he's been fallen upon here by the Devils. So it'll be another ball up. Tense times, Montana South. In the position they're in now, we'll just be waiting for the siren. And waiting for three quarter time. Deans goes up, gets the tap down. Back over the boundary line. Will they go? So, a bit of a dangerous spot here for the Devils to try and defend. We've seen Mitchum take their opportunities when the ball hits the deck in their forward line, but they're not going to this time. High kick outside of the defence for the Devils. Standing under it. They were doing well. It was Colosimo there, but Mitchum regained it back. Good kick by Pratt. Finds a target in Jarvis, and he's going to send it inside forward 50. Wasn't well managed, that kick. And taking the possession there was Bayer, and he was taken high, so he'll get the free kick. Back out of defence, not a great kick at all. And the mark's been taken once again. This is Howell, Dom Howell. He's going to send it back inside to attack for Mitchum. Deans was there, got a push away. Turner South just gained possession once again. It was a scrappy set of handballs, however, and th that was a high free kick going the way of Mitchum. I didn't even really... Did he make contact? Oh, we don't have the replay in front of us, so <laughs> we can't quite see it, but... We'll be after the we'll umpire's go. better judgment, yeah. I suppose. But Nathan Crampton is the one to take the free kick. Kicked one goal in the first quarter today. There's Crampton. He's got to kick it. He really does. This to reduce the margin. Back to a kick. It's on its way. I think it could be there for Mitchum. It is. And the Tigers keep touch. They move to 6-4-40.
It's one turn of south. 7 4 46. That doesn't sound right. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. Yep. right. Good math. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's been a good response to the Tigers in the last five minutes because, apart from that, it's been really one way traffic. Yep. Down to the scoreboard end, one turn of south. And probably left maybe a goal, potentially two on the table, the Devils. So it's kept the Tigers in at just six points coming up to three quarter time. 21 minutes gone. Here at Tormore Reserve, we're back in the middle again. Is there another goal in it for three quarter time? Tap down. So we'll be wrapped up and we're going to get a secondary ball up right away. A rematch of last year's Division One Reserves Grand Final. Two fantastic sides. Punch forward there by Deans. And the Devils have the quick response. Grabbed away. Good kick there from Solis. Into space is cut off. And now the Devils into attack. Yeah, he's got oh. some players out. Bouncing ball made it quite tough. Punched away there. I believe that was Howe. They're in a real dangerous area of the ground here. Picked up by Stone. It's going to go out of bounds. We had a boundary throw in far side. Devils lead by six points, coming up to three quarter time. Little boundary throw in here. Fantastic crowd in front of us at the moment. And there's your siren. So still got a ball game on our hands. It's 7 4 46. One turn us out, leading Mitchum by a goal. 6 4 40 at three quarter time. Jared Beanland with the goal kickers. So three to Jack Raffin for one turn of south. He's got the most on the field so far. Nick Beams with two there for one turn of south. Van, uh, Jared Van Grondel and Sam McIntyre as well with one each. And then looking at Mitchum, we've got Nathan Crampton with two. Zach Hazelden with two. Daniel Brock with one. Josh Valley with one. And that is, that wraps it up. It's one turn of south, 7 4 46. Mitchum 6 4 40. And we'll return to you after this three quarter time break in the reserves grand final. Division one, one turn of south versus Mitchum. which was not pre-season, but a little running block um, in the back half of the finals, which we're probably in the middle of doing when we played South Barbara last time. So we're confident um, that the work we put in pre-season and through the season will hold us in really good stead today. And finally, Neil...
And we are back at Tormore Reserve here for the Reserves Grand Final between Juan Turner South and Mitchum. Division One Reserves Grand Final. And it is Juan Turner South 7 4 46, Mitchum at 6 4 40. Just finished three quarter time here. Final quarter will be starting very, very shortly. And currently, Juan Turner South, they've been, they've been good, but Mitchum have been scrappy. They've taken their opportunities when they do go forward. And the wind this quarter will be favoring Juan Turner South. So maybe Mitchum needed to do a little bit more in that quarter. But the umpires will get us underway very shortly. Three goals to Jack Graffin so far for Juan Turner South, two to Nick Beams. And then the multiple goal scorers for Mitchum, Nathan Crampton with two, Zach Hazeldean with two. Can Mitchum reverse the result from last year? Losing out to Wontana South in a shock loss after a dominant year for the Tigers this year. Wontana South have come in favourites. They've only lost the four games throughout the entire season. And I think 10 points is the uh, most that they've lost by this year, Wontana South. So if they are going to lose, it's probably going to be a close one. Ball is held aloft and it's Ryan along to take us away in the final quarter. Final quarter of the Division One Reserves Grand Final. Devils lead by six points. They might get the clearance here. Able to move it forward, edging towards their forward half. Short kick there by Stone towards the boundary line. Picked up here by the Tigers. Hambled forward, out of bounds, and we'll get a boundary throw in far side. 7-4 to 6-4. Thanks for joining us on YouTube. We've got the pregame for the seniors coming up on our YouTube, Facebook and Radio East and 98.1 FM, Mitchum versus South Belgrave. Pass forward and the Devils might be out here. Shot on goal. If it's home, it is. That's a great finish. And it's Van Grindel again. And the Devils just get that bit of a break on the Tigers. Two goal lead again. That's his second. And one of the best players on the ground, you have to say. He's lively, isn't he? He's got a good amount of pace to him. And the skill there to finish off was uh, pretty impressive because there was a mm. lot of pressure. 12 point lead to one turn of south. You'd say another goal here, and they might have one hand in the cup. Tap down. Going to ground was Van Grondel, the goal kicker. It's been wrapped up. And another ball up. So it's Clark back into the ruck there for Mitchum. Good tackle laid by Klimengaitis. As the rain starts to come down a little bit here, Ryan. It's uh, not voting well for my job on the boundary today for no, the senior no. grand final, but we'll... Uh, Here's a chance. Here is a chance for Mitchum. But good composure in the back line there for Juan Turner South. The, the mark was spilled, and he had to turn tackler, did Beaches. And, oh, he didn't like that. Our uh, Mitchum player there in Jordan Pratt. Getting into them a little bit. Maybe trying to spark something here for the Tigers. Because they're going to need just that extra little bit of effort. Solos kicks it inside, forward 50. Jarvis is going to snap round. It's a high spiralling ball. Who's going to be brave enough to stand underneath it and take the mark? He's done it. He has taken the mark. Our Tigers player here. And we're just looking for who it's going to be, I reckon. Looks like it's Howell. So this is such an important kick here for Mitchum. Howe comes in, he's kicked it. The Tigers keep touch, and it's just a kick in it once again. Well, they won't go away. Been a great contest between the two sides, back to six points. Who's a match winner for the Tigers if, if they are to get up? 
Hard to say. Uh, Hazardine was uh, lively early on, for sure. Jarvis. I think Jarvis has probably yeah, been their best player. Definitely. Just still, still think the Devils probably, despite the score, still feel they've got control of the game at the moment. Yeah, I wouldn't be too worried if I was a Devils fan at this point, even with Mitchum starting to... Starting to be a bit more clean inside forward 50. So back in the middle again. Four minutes gone in this final term of the Division 1 Reserves Grand Finals. It's six points in it. Tap down. Tigers get the clearance here through Crampton. Crampton's got a player out by himself. Mark taken there by Finch inside 50. Hot spot. Devils got some numbers in front. And well done. The mark taken there. Strutridge. Very timely. Goes down the line on that far side, big. Oh, Mark almost taken there. Ball hits a deck, passed out, it's cut off by the Tigers and they go inside 50 again and wrapped up in a tackle, no free kick awarded. Vigan Marley thought may have earned himself a free kick, but uh, it's play on. So four and a half minutes into this final term, Mitchum are currently attacking just outside their forward half. I'll get the kick, but it was smothered. It's going to come right back. Crampton tackled. Didn't get rid of it. Oh, it's a high free kick, so it's going to come back to Crampton. Outside 50. That wind is picked up again. Won't help this kick. Keeps it low, and it's cut off. So it's a turnover, and the Devils here out in the back pocket. The wind has started to pick up. So any higher ball like that could go a little bit wayward. And it did for a second there for Wontona South, but they applied the clamps well enough. Bring the ball and the man to ground and we'll get another ball up. One kick in it, as we've said, tense stuff here in the reserves grand final. It's been high pressure. Lots of, pre lots of tackling. Lots of stoppages. We'll have another one here as it goes over the boundary line. Just in front of that marquee. Which we could probably use at this point as the rain is uh, threatening to become a little heavier. Clark with the tap down for one turn to South. Figa Marley swings onto the left. Bouncing ball, but cut off. That was a really good job there by Pratt to keep it in front of him. So one turn to South thrust forward, just ends. To another boundary throw in. Game seems to be balanced on a knife's edge here. We'll have another ball in. As the rain is starting to really pelt down. And this will make things even less clean than they have been so far this game. Steel got the tap. Mitchum, they're going to run straight inside forward 50 here. It's Crampton, kicks it to the top of the goal square. They're going to have to punch it through or find the possession here. One turn is south. Good composed kick outside of defensive 50. Two on one situation, however, favours the Tigers. Fulton has now come to Pratt. Bouncing ball forward. The Tigers, it's a kick inside forward 50 there for, the, for Mitchum. It goes into the pocket. It's going to beat them all over the boundary line. And a stoppage here in a dangerous spot for Mitchum. If they get the goal here, they'll tie it all up. And we'll be set for a, an absolute banger of a final quarter. Tackle laid by Wontona South. Just to hold it all up. Seven and a half minutes gone in the final quarter. Clark runs and jumps at it. Mitchum trying to get the clearance. Casey's there, but it's Mitchum with the ball. Just a bouncing one, though. Over into the pocket and another throw in. One turn to South, really going to have to dig their heels in here. In we go again. What can Clark or Steele do from the right contest? Punch it towards the boundary line. Just keeping it in there was Jarvis. Did well enough. But another stoppage. 
or turn to South desperate to lock it up, or Mitchum, in fact, desperate to lock it up, make sure it doesn't come out of their forward line and then take an opportunity when it's presented. This time, it doesn't present itself, and we'll get another stoppage, Ryan. Yes, we certainly will. Deep into a Mitchum's forward half, trailing by a goal. Tap down, socket out of midair, in towards a dangerous position here. Who's going to be able to pick it up? Reading it well there, Greg. He was caught. Ball slips out, handball. Devil's really fighting to keep this one away from Mitchum's goals. Towards the boundary side, the kick out. Be punched out of bounds, you'd say. Fig Marley clearing that one. Nine minutes into this final term. Eight forces, seven four. It's starting to feel a lot like the uh, grand final from last year. Yeah. Certainly, I thought this contest has been probably even better. It was a bit yep. more scrappy last time. As ball on the far side, Casey got the handball. It's probably they've done quite well here just to be able to escape their back half, not concede a score, slowly make their way down the ground. It's all about territory for Wontona South at this point. Because just with the way the game's going, even just one more goal for Wontona South might be enough to, to win it. Still a long way to go, coming up to the halfway mark of this final term. Out on that far side, so spent most of this quarter in this area of the ground. Ball brought back into play, tapped down by Beams. The handball's cut off. Ty's tried to go inside 50, Crampton's there, he's been well held and a strong mark from the Devils player. That far side, clearing it out, back to where it came from, over the top, clears everyone's head. Might come back though. We've run out of bounds, so we get a boundary throw in that far side. Ten and a half minutes gone in this last quarter, six points in it. I reckon the umpires had, the umpires have had more time in possession than any of the players put together this quarter. So slapped forward for Mitchum. They're trying to run onto it. Scrappy kick forward, but standing in the hole. It was good by, I think, Clark. I'll turn to south, kick it forward. Oh, just escaping the tackle there. This is good by the Devils. Sends it forward towards center forward, coming out to meet it. And getting the handball off. Good kick forward. Oh, nearly a mark taken. Oh, he's going to have to fight for it. He actually juggled it. He juggled the mark. And this is Stephen Colosimo. So he'll go back, and this is a this is an important kick here. Because as you were saying before, Ryan, one more goal for the Devils could seal it. And even if he misses, it could be a handy point as well. So Stephen Colosimo to try and get Wontona South. Second goal for the quarter, and he's completely shanked it. Will it be a handy point even? It Jeez. is. <laughs> oh, lucky to score. So, 8-5 to 7-4. It's a seven-point lead now. Tiger's going to at least have two scores if they are to win this grand final. Otherwise, the Devils are very close to completing back-to-back -back premierships in the reserves competition for Division 1. Tigers will clear this out from fullback. Still got plenty of time. And that's a turnover. Strong hands there by Casey. Puts it back into play and there's a mark. And they'll get another shot. I think this is Gleeson well again. Over. It is Cal Gleeson. He's had his opportunities. Hasn't made a dent on the scoreboard yet. Well, if you put this through, they're almost there. Mm -hmm. Be coming in from about 35 metres out. Gleeson lines up, looking for goal number one. It's on its way. It hits oh. the post. So minus score, 8-6-54, 7-4-46. 13 minutes gone in this last quarter. Tigers still alive. Oh, new mouth stuff here for Mitchum. As they escape defence on that outer side. Oh, nearly an intercept mark taken there by Plant. Couldn't quite handle it. 
So it falls back into the hands of Mitchum. Aggressive handball forward towards the contest. Should end up in a stoppage by the looks of it. It will. So Montana South have ground away against the Tigers this quarter. All of our pressure and territory and just forcing the ball forward and then getting that kick inside forward 50 once they finally have clean possession. Yet another stoppage. It's Montana South move forward again. However, this punch calms down for Mitchum. Slamming it on the boot there. It's going to find a contest. Oh, really good work by Greg. Re takes the handball, receives it again. Kicks it forward. Well cut off there by the Tigers. Oh, Montana South just pushing forward inexorably, constantly, relentlessly. And a mark inside forward 50, not quite taken. Scooped up, centering ball. Up goes Gleason again, and he wears a heavy one there. No free kick paid. Uh, there is a, a man down there for Mitchum. I believe it's Jarvis by the looks of it. Just picks himself up. And we'll have a stoppage here. Montana South. They have an opportunity here to seal the game. Smashing his way through and kicking the goal as Beams. Oh, missed. McIntyre, in fact. Missed. Oh, he's missed it. Well, <laughs> that's as, about as excited as a Wontana South supporter would have been there for a second, but couldn't quite do it. Well, they've had some chances just to ice this one, but kept the Tigers alive. One more goal will seal it. Yeah. 15 minutes gone in this last quarter at this point. You'd say Mitchum so. have got to kick at least two to win it from here. I'll try and clear it out of full back once more. Go towards us on the broadcast side, standing underneath it. Beams and Deans. As it falls to the ground, the Tigers, big tackle. Falls out, now a chance. Sorin will go inside 50 for the Devils. Chance for a mark. There's plays everywhere at the back. Picked up cleanly. Shrugs past an opponent. Shot on goal. Tigers got some numbers down on the last line of defence. Mark not taken. Tap towards the boundary. Picked up under a lot of pressure here. Hamble towards the teammate. We'll go out of bounds. Far side, 15, coming up to 16 minutes gone in this final term. Nine point lead to the Devils. And this is where the Devils forward pressure comes to the fore. So boundary throw in, back in. Picked up by Sarin, passed off to Carney. Just got his handball away in time, but it's cut off now by the Tigers. Who look to go inbound. Turn over here, picked off there by Closimo. Passed it off, inside 50. Mark almost taken, just fell through the hands, but it's picked up by a player at the bottom of the the pack, Zach Stone, and he's put it through, and that will be a sealer. 9-7-61, 46 Zach Stone's first goal of the day. Looks like it could be the most important here for the Devils. Great finish, and they had all the numbers up forward, and they've been pressing for the last five minutes, and they finally get that result. 9-7-61 to 7-4-46. And the chances of a premiership and redemption for Mitchum just starting to slip away here. We'd have to get three in very quick time. And it's not been that sort of game where it's been open and possession has been clean. It's not. So it's a in, hands it to Dan's. Crashing in there, the Tigers. They're really going to have to start putting their bodies on the line. They need cleaner possession here. Dan's taps down. Solos couldn't do much with it, and Serin wrapped him up. Starting to come into the game is Jimmy Serin. Just when it counts, so Wontona South just march out of the clearance. It was a scrappy ball forward, however. Carroza picks it up, slams it onto the boot. It's mostly Wontona South here, but clever punch forward for the Tigers. Ended up in the hands of Sturtridge, Sturtridge even, and he was wrapped up. Umpire will come in, ball it up. 18 minutes gone in this final quarter. Good use of strength by Deans. Gets the tap down, but Mitchum will have the clearance. Standing under the ball here, nearly taking the mug was Colosimo. It's going to be hustled over the line, however. And we'll get a ball in. 
And we're in Mitchum's forward line here. Just shallow in Mitchum's forward line, but they still have it there. They need a goal basically immediately if they're going to take this one. And a free kick's been picked out. It was a clear shove by Danes. And Steele will take it. He's too far to score. Hands it off. This is Kimba. Sends it to the top of the goal square. Up goes! That was a great mark by Blake Lee. He has to make sure of this very, very quickly. He's got to toe the line between composure and urgency. Blake Lee, just to keep Mitchum in touch, he's done it. He's kicked. Oh, no, he's hit the post. Oh, heartbreak for Lee. And that could have been Mitchum's opportunity. And he's just wasted it. 7 5 47 to one, one turn to south, uh, 9 7 61. It's over 19 minutes gone in this final quarter. One turn to south sends it towards this side. It was a high ball. Reading it off the pack well, though it was Jarvis. Sends it forward. No mark taken. Roved off the pack. The kick by one turn to south was cut off briefly, but they're able to break even in the contest and send it over the boundary line and this could be it one turn south could have it in the back here jarvis wears a heavy tackle but it was without the ball so mitchum get another opportunity jarvis swings round he ran into a player there as he played on it was smothered one turn south have them surrounded and that Possession ends up over the boundary line. Not much Cliven Guiders could do about it. And the umpire will throw it back in. Well, they know they're almost there. Into time on now, last quarter. Ball falls out the back. Slapped it on the boot inside 50. The Tigers go. It's going to be turned over again. And it's centre half back for the Devils. Picked up by Casey. Brought down in the tackle. 9-7 to 7-5. Will be back-to-back -back flags for the Devils. Just got to hold on for a couple more minutes. Tap away there by Beams. Running onto this. Can take a bounce. He's got time. There goes Colosimo inside. Finds a play all by himself. It's Hunt. Can't quite pick it up. And the Tigers defender there in Sam Howell. Picks it up nicely. Got it off to a teammate. Off to Crampton. Crampton dances around. Passes it forward. Is it? Hamble in hope as it's cut off and now Casey again. Been really strong this afternoon. Tigers hit the ball forward. Carney pushes it past his opponent to take a mark. And they'll just run this clock down. Short kick, finds a target. There's not much they have to do, Ryan. No, nope, they're 14 points up with very minimal time left. 21 minutes gone. They're going to go back to back, the Devils. Mark taken. They can maybe get another one, a late one. A player running onto this under the chest. Plays on right away. Snap around the corner and a player standing all by himself in the goal square. And they're going to get another one. Jack, it's Jack Graffin, who's already kicked three. He's kicked one every quarter. It's just about time for him to kick his goal for this quarter. And on the siren, he puts it through and the Devils Create some history, back-to-back -back flags. 9-7, 10 7 67-7547. 20-point winners over Mitchum. A fantastic story for the Wontona South Football Club. Fantastic game, Jared. They were really, really strong and a real great performance in the end. They were challenged by the Tigers, but we always thought they would just maybe a little step ahead. Yep. It really looked like they were in control for the for the most part. Mitchum had a scrap. They they had to dig the Tigers, as uh, as we knew they would. There were some really good goals there for for Mitchum. I really liked the game with Jarvis.
Definitely. I like the game of Hazelden early on, and Carrozza as well was handy. What about from a Devils perspective? From a Devils perspective, Who's I mean, grappling, grappling with the four goals is a, is a solid pick, I'd say. Uh, I like the game of Colossum Oat. Uh, Van Grondel was lively. Uh, Casey was always there in the clearances. Yeah, Casey was good. Yeah, some good options to pick for the Blue Room medalist. And that's it for us on the stream here. Stay tuned for the presentations in just a moment. It's one turn of South, creating some history. Back to back flags, 10767 to Mitcham 7547. sides all year yeah I think so as well I, 
I think the thing with Doncaster is that they, they really like to control that football. And I just think Vermont, the way that they play without the footy, yep. is, is going to be a real problem for Doncaster East. They're going to press up on them. That's something that Baldwin weren't able to do. They weren't able to put enough pressure on them. Baldwin just tried to play their own game, and they didn't really adapt to the conditions. And I think Vermont would be better at that. You, you mentioned Bass is coming back in. I think he's really good with that sort of, you know, you mentioned he plays centre-half forward, and he's good with that sort of forward pressure as well and that press that Vermont like to put on. So... Oh, I think that's going to be a little bit too much, but I, I do agree with you. I think Doncaster East, they've been probably written off for most of the final series, really. Well, the thing is, and also, look, once again, Tyne and, you know, Simon White, Chris Feel, and they're going to need a bit, and the captain Appleby's going to have, uh, will need to fire again. I think they're going to have to try and, they're going to have to try and get Tom Bell kicking goals, because yes. I don't think that they can afford to have him not kick goals, Josh. No, I think he only kicked one last and week, and you can't be doing that. No. So, you know, look, I think, I, th- I think by and large, um, it's going to be, a, like I said, it's going to be a really close contest, but I think one of these sides, and it could be, it could be Doncaster East, but it could be Vermont, one of those sides is going to get a period of time where they're going to, where they're going to be able to bid that game, and I can see Vermont doing it with, with the younger legs. I, I can see them running on top of the ground. Do you think Doncaster East have to put someone to a Lockie Johns or sort of react to Vermont's game style to try to shut them down? Do you think they just do what they do? Well, I think it's not only Johns that you've got to worry about. Greenwood's the other one. He's he's been he's been another one of the generals. It's going to be very interesting because Phelan and Tynan will be in that midfield. So you've got two experienced balls against you know another two experienced type goals. So that midfield clash is going to be all important. I think the ruck. The ruck areas. I think Kalkowski um, has that X factor, yeah. right? That could throw a curveball yeah. in there if he gets on fire real quick. Um, the uh, he could, he could set the game. He's, he could set the game in Vermont's favour very very quickly, Josh. We only we talked about it yesterday, Dill. Just literally, he can only have four or five touches and kick four or five goals. He ha- he's happy to pull the trigger from anywhere. And I don't know if Doncaster East have a defender to stop him. He's such a unique matchup. Yeah. Because he if he's just Ladies a tall and gentlemen, board, welcome to the East you League can lock Division down One reserves. Um, yeah, not a player like presentation. No, I'm, start by uh, saying commiserations to the Mitchum Football Club. Another fantastic season, fell short, but a great effort. And congratulations to the Premiers, back-to-back, Wonturna South, 10-7-67, defeating Mitcham, 7-5-47. We're now welcome to the stage, Dyson Baker, to present the Blue River Medal. Past race 79. The 2023 Blue River Medalist for the Division One Reserves Grand Final from Wonturna South, Number 17, Jared Van Grondel. We'll keep Dyson up on stage, present the Premiership medals to Wonturna South, starting with number two, Lockie Gregg. Number 17, the Blue Ribbon medalist, Jared Van Grindel. Number 22, Scott Gerloff. Number 23, Nick Beams. Number 28, Michael Casey. Number 32, Jake Harper. Number 33, Sal Figamali. Number 34, Mark Deans. Number 35, Ben Gerloff. Number 
Number 37, Zach Klibergatis. Number 40, Zach Stone. Number 41, Daniel Byer. Number 42, Jack Graffin. Number 43, James Sturtridge. Number 47, Cal Gleason. Number 49, Jimmy Serene. Number 51, Mitch Plant. Number 52, Stephen Colosimo. Number 53, James Clark. Number 54, Dalen Carney. Number 55, Kyle Bajaz. Number 61, Riley Beaton. Number 62, Jamie Hunt. Number 56, James Anderson. The runner, Pete Whitty. Assistant coach, Mitch Stone. Assistant coach, Nathan Palamara. Please welcome to the stage your Premiership Captain, number 12, Sam McIntyre. And welcoming to the stage, the Premiership Coach, Paul Payne. That's uh, all right, thank you. Um, to Steve and Mitch, the best out of us every time we play, uh, you're a super group, super consistent, and uh, commiserations this year, but I'm sure um, well, if the seniors don't get up, we might have another dance out here next year, so well done to you guys. Um, I'd just like to dedicate this win to a special person, our footy club that passed away at the start of the year. Uh, that was Colin Williams. He was a special person to me and the club. So I'd like to dedicate this in the memory of Colin Williams. Um, to my boys, you're a super bunch of guys. You buy into everything I ask. And uh, for you guys to get the results again, 
I love it. I love you to pieces, every everyone under you. And you guys have missed out. You're a big part of it too. So well done boys. Let's enjoy it tonight. The 2023 Premiers, the Division One Reserves, the Wonturner South Football Club, back to back.
On behalf of the Eastern Football Netball League, welcome to Tormor Reserve Baronia for today's Eastland Division One Senior Grand Final. We begin today by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we gather and we pay our respects to Elders past and present. We extend that re respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here today. Congratulations and best of luck to both competing sides and today's decider, your officiating umpires for today's match. In the field, Caleb Munro, Sam Green and Damien DeVincentis. On the boundary, Marcus Allen, David Woolley, Brodie Eccles and Ryan Paravicini. And in the goals, Andrew Wasty and Sean Meredith. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please be upstanding for the Australian National Anthem. Jared, you've had a busy day, both calling the Jared with the reserves, deal with the 19s. How are conditions down there on ground level? It's a, bit, a little bit chilly. The wind picks up occasionally uh, now and then, uh, but other than that, it seems pretty good. It, there was a little spot of rain during the reserves grand final. Uh, however, that seems to have cleared up by now, and uh, yeah, it looks like we're ready for a, a pretty good game. Uh, great grand final, no doubt. Uh, the track seems pretty uh, pretty hard underfoot, so it might be a bit fast. And uh, what do we reckon, Dill, uh, in terms of tips? I expect Mitchum to get on top around the contest. I think they're going to dominate that ruck work, but I think South Belgrave's forward line, they're going to hurt him on the turnover and just be too good for that Mitchum back line. I've got the Saints by 18 points. Oh, that's interesting. I've been by 17 points. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I'm expecting a really, really good game here. Uh, Very intense. The crowd brought it. The players brought it. This is going to be a, an absolute banger. I think it is. Thank you as well, Jared and Dylan, who will be braving the conditions. It's not too warm out uh, there as well. The <laughs> <laughs> it's not as warm as last week. I'm still glad I didn't get to go on the ground uh, ground level last week. As teams are starting to move into position, Mitchum King into the scoreboard, Andrew to the left of your radio dial, uh, South Belgrave to the end where it usually does get windy and wind can play it back to the right of your radio dial to the Baronia Road and as it's Tom Lovell that'll go up first in ruck that's going to be very exciting as umpires are now in position a big crowd out here at Tormore Reserve Brett Beston 
to get us underway for the Division 1 Senior Grand Final between South Belgrave and Mitchum. Thanks, Josh. You're looking forward to this one. Big crowd in as the umpire throws the ball up. They fly, and it was Lovell who came over the top and got the first hit out. Going in there trying to get it with Smythe. Ball on the ground there for the contest. Taken by uh, one of the Mitchum players there. I think it was somewhat of a Horsey, but the uh, rapper. And the umpire says we'll throw it up again. So up it goes. This will be important, the ruck contest today. Mitchum take it out of the ruck, and they go forward for the first time. And the mark is taken. So here's an early opportunity. It's been taken there by uh, Jesse Smythe, who's kicked 22 goals for the season, and he'll be looking for number 23. This would be a terrific start for Mitchum if he can slot this. He's very quick on the. Uh, he's very quick, Ray, in, in the opening five uh, five yards. Smythe. He's going to run a merry dance around his opponent. So good conditions today. You can't uh, blame the conditions. He'll be kicking from about 35 on its way. Doesn't like it. And it's away off target, so a missed opportunity goes through for the first score of the grand final. It's a minor score, and we've had uh, just up to a minute. Now, one thing as well about Jesse Smythe, he won't mind taking a mark at Specky as Brody Connolly goes out to the far side and it'll go out of bounds. So a boundary throw in here. Mitchum getting the early territory. It was Tom Lovell that with that first clearance and first inside 50 for the Tigers as well. He's going to be massive for them today. today. Put together a phenomenal season and a contender potentially for the Division 1 best and fairest. As ball is tossed back up, Baklava took it out of Ruck, spins around onto his right kick, was smothered. We'll get a boundary thrown right in front right where it was before. So a minute and a half gone out here at Tormor Reserve. Mitchum with the first score on the board. They wouldn't mind getting off to a fast start against the Fresh South Belgrave outfit as the ball is tossed back into play. Garner from behind. Was he holding back Lava? He was. They'll get another foray inside 50. Will the Tigers as back Lava takes his time on the mark. Goes to the forward pocket looking for Lovell. Flew. Couldn't take the mark. It's out of the back. Lovell still picks it up. Looking for Parenti. And this will be the perfect start for Jake Parenti, who on return to the side kicked two goals as we go to Paul Yukone in the stats yeah. center. Uh, two marks inside 50 already for Mitchum, so they want to make it count early. They definitely do as Parenti. This it's not with it's in it's within his realm of possibility. It's on the wrong side for a right footer. Just he'll kick from probably just in front of the scoreboard out here at Tormor Reserve as he comes in, the leading goal kicker from Division One last year. Looks decent off the boot, and he loves it! Jake Parenti with the first of the day for Mitchum, 1-1-7. South Belgrave get to score after two and a half minutes here. Right, you can already tell that Bag Lava is starting the monster already, Mitch Garner in the, in the ruck duels around, and around the ground. Yeah, boundary. they're winning the clearances, uh, uh, Mitchum, that's for sure. Let's go down to the boundary with Dylan Smith. Yeah, just uh, a couple of matchups here. Zachary Elms is the one with the dangerous uh, Smith and Jackson Glossop playing as a spare and he's sort of just been floating back towards Smith to be the extra cover. So a great start for the uh, Tigers and big Jake Parente is going to be a key figure today. Love might have got that one out of the middle though. Ball on the ground, wrapped up and diving on it there. Two or three different players. And the umpire says boundary. we'll ball it up as we go back to the boundary. Jared Beanlands. A couple of matches on the other end of the ground. Jay Robertson has taken Jake Parenti and Ryan Silva is on Jesse Smythe. That matchup on Parente is going to be huge today. Of course, the VFL listed player and he's such a class act. As we saw with that first goal, not too many players would have kicked that. Up it goes again. Wrestling for the contest. Garner got to the front spot that time, knocked it down. But 